We also know the feeling of there's still nothing like that feeling of actually yes. grabbing a book, yes. you know, turning the pages and, you know, like you said, more interactivity yep. with the kids and the book and the families that are reading them together. And, you know, two of the coolest books, and, Mike, you, maybe, maybe either of you had this when you were a kid. I had a couple of holiday books that were scratch and sniff. Oh. And you would scratch and sniff and smell like the cookies the mom was baking. Now and you're going found, way back. We found the same books for my son, and that is a perfect example of interacting, touching, Do you the pop-up like, books, too? Oh, yeah. No, I had those as a kid. I didn't find any of those. No. For you Luke, know, we look but. at screens too much during the day. So. Yeah, and it's bad for their eyes if they keep using that, those, those screens all day. I know. You look at screens too long, you can't see anything. Hello. For Where, are you? <laughs> Where are you? Well, we have some sunshine outside now. You know, it started off pretty chilly this morning with temperatures in the 20s, and today we made up to about the mid-50s, which is a little bit below normal. Normal high is about 64. We have an east-northeasterly wind at 9 miles an hour, but check out the humidity and the dew point. This air is really dry, so tonight, with light winds and high pressure nearby and clear skies. Temperatures will drop pretty quickly tonight. In fact, tomorrow morning we'll be back down to the mid-20s to mid-30s across our entire viewing area. I'll show you the temperature spread coming up in just a little bit. But for tomorrow, we'll be back into the low and mid-60s, so back closer to where we should be this time of year. We'll get into the low and mid-70s on Friday and the mid to upper 70s on Saturday. We're going to stay dry until Sunday. The next system will bring us a chance of rain Sunday afternoon into the evening. It's not going to rain the whole day, but behind that front, it's going to be cooler for the first half of next week. We're talking about highs in the 50s. And then after that, we'll start to warm back up for the second half of next week. It's 48 right now in Kilmarnock and also at Norfolk and Virginia Beach. But areas away from the coast, low and mid-50s right now. But as we widen the picture, take a look out towards the west. at 65 in St. Louis, 71 in Kansas City. This area is going to head this way. There's an area of high pressure nearby. The wind's around to go clockwise. So once this high moves a little bit, that air will start to work into our area over the next couple days. And with that area of high pressure and control, nothing going on across the area. In fact, the nearest clouds of any consequence, at least to our west, are all the way out by Chicago and St. Louis. And we'll have a few high, thin clouds streaming in during the day tomorrow. But that is going to be about it. Tonight we are clear to mostly clear and we'll stay that way overnight. Temperatures will fall through the 40s and by daybreak tomorrow we'll have some mid-20s in some of our coldest outlying areas, low to mid-30s just about everywhere else. Tomorrow, a good deal of sunshine will be in the 50s by noontime. So the temperatures that we had for highs today will reach that by about noon tomorrow. And then during the afternoon we'll make it up to the low and mid-60s, but again cooler near the coast. Mostly sunny skies, a bit more in the way of some clouds mixing in with the sun on Friday. Wake up to temperatures slightly milder in the 40s and then highs Friday afternoon will make it up into the upper 60s and low 70s. There may be a passing shower across northwestern or northern Virginia if we're traveling out that way and the same deal on Saturday. But then that next system will bring us our next chance of rain across the area during the day on Sunday. And depending on the exact timing of this front, we may get a few rumbles of thunder out of this as well. And this front will be out of here and bring us that cooler weather for the beginning part of next week. So dry for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. They have a pretty good chance of rain on Sunday, but again, it won't rain the whole day. There will be a system near the coast next Tuesday and Wednesday, and I'll bring our next chance of showers. But I think those will be out of here on Thursday in time for the Squirrels home opener. 65 tomorrow, 74 on Friday, 77 Saturday. For the kicker, it's going to be a nice mild evening then. 66 with some showers on Sunday. It should be dry on Monday. That chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday, but notice that high. Highs only in the mid to upper 50s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but we're looking for 60s and 70s later next week. Julie, Rob? All right, Mike, thank you.